Next, let's go to vector scope. All right, your vector scope is here to measure two things, hue and saturation. Now, hue is your general color temperature of your image or of an object or a subject or something in your image. If you have something like, a, well, like this can, for instance, this is a red hue. Now we got this, and this red hue happens to be very, very saturated. What happens is, this is the midpoint right here. You've got your red, kind of, these are suggested legal limits here. You've got red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. Now what this represents is basically our color wheel. Our color wheel is this right here. You've got a color wheel that basically has, uh, goes in a circle and you have all these different colors going around the circle. And what happens as you go in through the middle of this axis from the green and go right over here, you've got its opposite color. Basically the opposite of green is this color over here. And these, these are called complementary colors, colors that are exact opposite that do not have, the green does not contain magenta, magenta does not contain green. Those are complementary colors. The complementary colors are right here, yellow to blue, Blue, magenta to green, cyan to red, and then even in between, it's just from here to here, here to here, here to here, and so on. So directly across from the circle are your primary colors, and this, rep and this represents that circle and different kind of legal limits for different uh, colors. It's got these exact points to represent the legal colors. Now, uh, this point midpoint right here on our uh, vector scope represents desaturation. So this is a general hue here. We got like a lot of reds and kind of warmth going off on our entire image. This is like a very yellow and red, red uh, warmish look to this image that we're looking at right here. But it's got this spike going off right there, which is this red can right there. That's saturation. Saturation is basically how intense that hue is. So that red hue is very, very intense. It's almost at the legal limit, which is a lot of saturation. If we grab the saturation and drag it back here, uh, look what happens. It starts shrinking that in. Now it is still red. It's just not as intense. It's like half as intense as it was before. As we drag that all the way back here to zero, look what happens. It sucks it into that little knot uh, or in that little uh, dot there and look at our image. It is black and white. This is now void of all color. The waveform doesn't care about, care about color, especially if you don't, uh, if you're telling it to show if your if your waveform is not colorized, then it's not going to be really changing all that much when you change color. Watch saturation as I crank this up here. Look at my waveform. It's really not doing a thing when I change my saturation. This waveform here measures luminance levels. That's it, if I have it set up that way. So my vector scope, that is measuring general hue and then saturation. Look how oversaturated that red is there. It's telling us, it's warning us that that is oversaturated. So I can grab that and tone it down a little bit. There you go.